Quite recently, we had a video where we were explaining uh, and answering the question, why do you need a video intercom like this one at all? We're going to leave the uh, link to that video in the description. And now it is time to talk about the real video intercom selection process happening nowadays in exactly our times for namely your tasks, because there are many questions as well as pitfalls and just a heap of incomprehensible characteristics. This video is the answers to those questions that people frequently ask us when choosing and selecting a video intercom system, but put together in a correct order, and I hope it will help you. My name is Daniel, you're on the channel of People Systems Store, where we have a range of video intercoms for you in any budget, standard, and the functionality. And we begin. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. And I suppose initially it's worth starting from the installation place. Where? Is it a house, a single apartment, or the apartment building? And is there already some system installed? And which system? Then it's, then it's only about the required functionality and your goal. Why? What and how you want your system? What functions do you need? Uh, accordingly, we should get into these two parameters and based on them, narrow the search area and ultimately find exactly your way to go, depending on where there is such thing as, uh, <laughs> well, does your house already has an intercom system? If there is one, then it's way simpler and uh, the search area is narrowed down to literally a few options which are choosing the compatible equipment, but with the functionality you need for the occasion. I mean, really frequent in this sense, a video intercom, well, the door station, uh, like this one itself is installed right in the entrance. Oh, no, right the entrance in uh, near the front door to your apartment. Uh, though we we'll quickly glance over the roots. Well, I mean, you definitely know and approached the good old audio panels with a keypad to dial a specific apartment, which is uh, so often used to install in many old uh, buildings. Well, those that are. Um, just in front of the entrance into the building and even from that moment on all tenants in the house may want to upgrade to video intercom with a monitor in each apartment for all tenants which is not something new we have such cases and this is literally another level of access control and situation control observation through the video it's some another way and i'm sure we all are going to reach that point one day and in this sense we begin from where? Is it an apartment building with a pre-installed intercom system? Take a photo of it, go to the store, and the guys out there will help you selecting a compatible details. For example, you can get to our people system store. And if there is no such pre-installed system, well, which is actually less likely, but it means that you are less limited in your choice, resulting in that you are free to choose based on the required functionality and uh, we're going into the functionality uh, right further in the video. All video intercom systems can be divided into analog, digital analog intercom and digital network IP intercom. And the main point, the difference lies in the method of data transmission, that is video and audio, where in the analog type system from the door station there goes uh, all data goes through the wire to the intercom monitor like this one uh, in the apartment and here's by the way a nice a big plus of the analog no delays in video transmission to you inherent to well all intercom based system in fact this digital analog type video from the intercom can go straight to your phone or the network too but the functionality and control would be more limited. This is the difference from the uh, network type system. In fact, an IP intercom system, you may not even need a monitor at all. All the data goes over the network and this is your why. There are completely standalone door phones that call your phone directly. Highly convenient, but is definitely not suitable for everyone and totally more expensive. There are many nuances further, but this is the main division. Nevertheless, it is worth starting from what you need and not from the system standard. 
And of course, you'd want to take a modern and tempting in terms of functionality, network, and com based system that has one of the key advantages of watching video from the uh, intercom in your live mode from the phone over the network anytime, in any place, and remote calling and door opening directly from the phone. But in fact, yet, the overwhelming majority of video intercoms installed in homes nowadays are analog type. Why? Because it's cheaper, way more affordable, simpler, time-tested option, habitable, understandable. They just already have everything made perfectly and debugged. And what else is very important? The analog system is incredibly universal. I mean, you have devices from different manufacturers, they are going to work as good as if they were a pair from the factory originally. In the reality, if you need just a standard, ordinary functionality uh, to answer calls with video and audio, uh, to let people in, open close the door, your answer is an analog video intercom. Why would you overpay for the network-based system and functionality that you literally don't even need? And this is specifically why the network video intercom is more expensive. Um, due to its advanced functionality and possible scale of the system. There you'll be able to see video in live mode directly from the phone over the network, write direct video calls to the phone, the advanced control and the ability uh, to create a much wider network of devices, meaning a significantly more devices. And uh, these are advanced notifications and uh, advanced security functionality and there are completely, even there are even completely wireless battery powered door stations or phones, but usually in an ordinary residential complexes or houses, it's just simply not needed there. And the IP system also has its drawbacks. In fact, the topic of IP network based intercom systems with their functionality and scale is way more deeper. And uh, there will be a dedicated video like this one uh, on this matter. We'll get into it. And today we have discussed what you can start from at the initial stage when you just enter in the area and try to understand it. And in our People System Store, we have a range of video intercoms for you in any budget, standard, and functionality. And thank you for watching.